First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verses 16 to 33. Abraham and the men who had visited him by the terebinth of Mamre set out from there and looked down toward Sodom. Abraham was walking with them to see them on their way. The Lord reflected, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do, now that he is to become a great and populous nation? and all the nations of the earth are to find blessing in him. Indeed, I have singled him out, that he may direct his children and his household after him, to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just, so that the Lord may carry into effect for Abraham the promises he made about him. Then the Lord said, The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great, and their sin so grave, that I must go down and see whether or not their actions fully correspond to the cry against them that comes to me. I mean to find out. While the two men walked on farther toward Sodom, the Lord remained standing before Abraham. Then Abraham drew nearer to him and said, Will you sweep away the innocent with the guilty? Suppose there were fifty innocent people in the city, would you wipe out the place? rather than spare it, for the sake of the fifty innocent people within it. Far be it from you to do such a thing, to make the innocent die with the guilty, so that the innocent and the guilty would be treated alike. Should not the judge of all the world act with justice? The Lord replied, If I find fifty innocent people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham spoke up again, See how I am presuming to speak to my Lord, though I am but dust and ashes. What if there are five less than fifty innocent people? Will you destroy the whole city because of those five? He answered, I will not destroy it if I find forty-five there. But Abraham persisted, saying, What if only forty are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it for the sake of forty. Then Abraham said, Let not my Lord grow impatient if I go on. What if only thirty are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it if I can find but thirty there. Still Abraham went on, Since I have thus dared to speak to my Lord, what if there are no more than twenty? He answered, I will not destroy it for the sake of the twenty. But he still persisted. Please, let not my Lord grow angry if I speak up this last time. What if there are at least ten there? He replied, For the sake of those ten, I will not destroy it. The Lord departed as soon as he had finished speaking with Abraham. And Abraham returned home. The Word of the Lord a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to cross to the other shore. A scribe approached him and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and the birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But Jesus answered him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children, and my dear young generation, today, Monday, 28th of June, the Church celebrates the Feast of St. Irenaeus, a bishop of martyr of the church, a bishop who comes from Turkey the present day, in the second century of the church. The reading presented to us today for our 
Daily Mass is taken from Matthew chapter 8, verses 18 to 22. Here we come across a multitude of people who wants to follow Jesus, but Jesus crosses the river. He goes to the other countries, other villages, not because he's escaping from the people, not because he doesn't want to listen to them, but because he wants to evangelize even the other people. Now, in his journey, he comes across two different types of people. Now, both these persons, they want to follow Jesus. One is ready then and there. He says, I am ready, Lord. I want to follow you. But Jesus does not welcome his attitude of coming to follow Jesus. He says, you can come, but you understand. It is full of uncertainties, and it is full of uncertainties. It is full of doubts. It is full of difficulties. The, you could imagine that it is said in the reading that the foxes have holes and the birds have nets, but the Son of Man does not have a place to lay down his head. This shows the challenges the one should be able to face in following Jesus Christ, in following the kingdom of God. Then the other person who comes in contact with Jesus says, Lord, I also want to follow you, but please let me allow me to go first and bury my father. Jesus says no to him, but he says no, not because he doesn't, he doesn't want to allow him to go, but he says, now you come immediately. Let the dead bury the dead, because there is no option any longer when it comes to the kingdom of God. Once you decide to follow Jesus, it is a decision that you have to take, and there should not be any second consideration. Therefore, the gospel today teaches us something important. The kingdom of God is demanding. It is full of challenges. It is full of sacrifices to be made. It is full of difficulties to face up. But at the same time, a decision must be taken. And there is no time to, no time to change our views, make change our decisions. Because once we want to follow and love Jesus, it is a permanent sacrifice. It's a permanent decision. And that is what the gospel is asking us to understand today. The difficulties and the constant decision to follow. 